So now in this video, we're going to look at the 555 timer here, wired in bi-stable mode. So bi-stable means that the output has two stable positions. You can see right now the output's low. That's how I have the blue LED wired up. It's going to stay low until we give a low input signal. We're going to connect the trigger pin directly to ground. That's our set pin. And now the output's high. So the output's going to stay high until we give a low signal, connect the reset pin, pin number four directly to ground, and now the output is low. So it stays in one of two states, by stable, unless we force it to change. We have to power the 555 timer. Pin number eight is the VCC, the positive supply, and uh, pin number one is ground. So you can see pin number eight there, we got that one, two, three, four, and then you come across five, six, seven, eight to the positive supply and pin number one, the top pin to ground. You should be able to see that uh, pretty easy. Now, pin number six, that is the threshold pin. It's waiting for two thirds of the supply voltage, so close to uh, five volts. If we connect it directly to ground, that holds it at zero volts. That tells it not to do anything. So now when it comes to the set and reset inputs, the uh, set input is pin number two, the trigger pin, right there. And so these inputs, they're waiting for a low signal to do something. And the if you just leave it floating, you don't have a resistor there going to the positive supply. It's going to pick up signals in the air and uh, give it voltages that will change it. And so we just use a 10 kilo ohm is common pull-up resistor to connect to the positive supply to hold the voltage to 5 volts because it's not letting current in or out, it'll see that full 5 volts, until you close the switch, then it'll see a direct connection to 0 volts. So we have that on both sides there. And so, to uh, help reduce clutter and stuff, I just used a, a couple jumpers to go from uh, pin 2 right there, it's going to that white jumper, and then going across to the pull-up resistor, pin 4 at the bottom right there is going to that jumper, and that pull-up resistor. And I have a couple other jumpers to simulate switches. So right now the output is low. I got this red jumper to help remind me that the trigger pin sets it high right there. And uh, now the output is high and I got uh, this blue jumper there to help remind me that this is the uh, pin that uh, sets the output back low when you give it a low input. And so now quickly the output it can either be high, as close to 5 volts as it can get, it falls a bit short, or it can be low, down to uh, 0 volts. And it makes a pretty good direct connection to uh, 0 volts. So when it's 0 volts, I have a blue LED here. Higher value resistor for the blue LED, 1 kilo ohm, because it's just naturally brighter. And, uh, and it will also have a little more voltage across the uh, resistor and LED. And uh, so higher value resistor works good. The red LED, we're going to use 220 ohms there. That goes to ground, so when the red LED is lit up, that means that uh, we're connected as close as we can get to the 5 volt supply there. And it's probably closer to 4 volts, maybe even a little bit below 4 volts. And uh, so there you can see that there. Right now the blue LED is lit up. And that's the more positive side of the supply there. Long lead the anode there, short lead the cathode down there. And they don't have to be in the same order as uh, the schematic either. So here I have the resistor before the LED. There I have the LED before the resistor. Doesn't matter as long as they're in series and the LED is in the right way. But in uh, any case, that's going to pin three there, the output. And uh, since that's more positive for it to light up, it has to be more negative at the output right there. So the output's low. When the uh, red LED lights up right there, you can see that end of the LED is uh, ground, the most negative part of the circuit. So that means the output has to be more positive right there and uh, 220 ohm resistor long lead and then uh, short lead down to ground. So in any case, that's it for this circuit. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen. Click like, subscribe, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks to everybody that watches the videos. I have links down in the description. I will see you in the next video.